Today we're going to talk about everybody's favorite topic, is school really for education? Now you might have heard that I'm working on a course called Nonlinear Education right now. It was actually designed as a bonus that was given free to those who purchased my program, Roadmap to Attention and Regulation. That one was a foodist medicine program to support focused learning and regulation in kids. Now the Nonlinear Education bonus runs on a parallel track to the food track. And I am finding that as I create this program, I'm having to bust some very ingrained ideas. And one of them is that school is for education. The minute we're talking about any neurodiverse kid, it might be time to quash that idea completely. Now, school is for many things. Um, number one, feeling and being part of the community. Number two, social interactions. We know that. Number three, brainstorming with peers. This is so important for academic and emotional maturity. Number four, sensory desensitization. I'm going to put a maybe there, okay? But they might never have been a time that school was for education, except perhaps for the most auditory learner, the most sensor sensorially integrated neurotypically, neurotypical kids, excuse me. But in today's age where learning pathways vary, with the predominance on visual learning, where interests vary and can tend towards hyper-focus for some kids, right? Where sensory tolerance varies, school is not where most of your child's education will happen. If that is the case, where does this education happen? And the good answer is many places, through social interactions, through conversations with you, through play and movement, and through personal and group projects that are of keen interest to the child. Education has always been meant to be non-linear, but today it's become uber critical to build in that non-linearity in our children's learning process. And I look forward to sharing more detail about my course, Non-Linear Education, soon. So please do stay tuned, but I want you to be able to be part of the learning process right away. So a couple of things. One, I'd like to leave you with a question. It's a pretty simple one, but it could also be very complex for you. Why do you send your kid to school? So post a comment below. I really want to know, why do you send your kid to school? Number two, what do you want to learn about nonlinear education? It could just be what, what on earth does the term even mean? And that's fine. Just go ahead and post below this video. I look forward to talking soon. Bye.